So printing photos is something that I feel doesn't get talked about enough in this kind of photography space, at least online. But I feel like it's an extremely important part of the process, regardless of if you are an amateur or professional or you're just doing it as a hobby. I feel like everyone should be printing their photos. And here are kind of my reasons and how I kind of think about it. So I've been printing my own photos with my own printer with, for about almost six months, I think. And it really has changed the perspective on how I view photography and how I'm kind of orienting myself in the space of photography. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to talk about is that printing photos is a lot easier than you think. You don't need the best printer out there. You don't need the best paper out there. You don't need all this equipment to start printing your photos. Personally, I like to print with a home printer. I think it's just more convenient and then I have more control and all that stuff. But nowadays there are a lot of printing services. I think Costco still does a lot of printing so you can go there for an affordable rate. If you're trying to get a bunch of like four by sixes or whatever you really need but there's a lot of photo printing services that produce high quality prints at an affordable price so it's a lot easier than you think because all you have to really do is if you've edited the photos already you can just select the ones you kind of want to print and then just press a button and then you get your photos when you get them but i feel like what staves off a lot of people from going out and printing their photos is that it feels kind of like almost like an extra task or chore or process uh for some people i feel like it's it's fun but not everyone thinks that way you know what i mean so it can kind of be like oh yeah i've just never really gotten around to it because i haven't found the time or i haven't made the time even though the process is so easy it's kind of hard to delegate the time to just go out and print your own photos but Honestly, it doesn't take that long. It's a lot easier than you think. And that's just something to keep in mind if you are ever thinking about it and kind of procrastinating on the idea. You know what I mean? Next up, and this is probably one of the most important points as to why I think everyone should print their own photos, is that it forces you to be kind of selective. And this is extremely important, not only in the printing process, but in the whole photography realm as well. Um, I think when you are printing, it requires costs. Everything physical in your hand will require a cost, whether it's money for the paper, money for the ink, money for your time, or anything like that. Even if you're printing at Costco, you gotta think about which photos you are picking to print. It adds up, you know what I mean? And so keeping that in mind, you're not going to be printing every single photo on your camera roll. And so when you're being selective about which photo you're gonna print and which photo you're gonna choose and stuff like that, it's actually forcing you to think about your photography in a different way. Does this photo deserve to be on paper? Does this photo deserve a physical form? And when you're in that selective process, I think you realize a lot about what you like about photography and what you don't like about photography. You get to choose kind of what fits your style more and what doesn't, and it starts to make you more understand your personal relationship with photography. And I think that's one of the most important parts about printing because it actually makes you a better photographer. The next time you go out and shoot or you're taking pictures, you're gonna start thinking more about does this deserve to be on paper? Is this going to be a photo that makes it onto paper? And then you're not gonna be taking so many useless photos, but you're gonna be taking more of the right photos. It's gonna be kind of more of a quality over quantity thing. And I think that's extremely important and not something that everyone kind of realizes. The investment that you put that makes something into a physical form actually benefits you. Uh, and everyone thinks about the cost and all that stuff, but they don't think about the benefit, which is something that's truly, truly important in my opinion. So just something else to think about, I guess. Next thing to think about is that a lot of photos make for really good gifts, especially if you are just handing them out to friends or if they're pictures of friends or they're from travels and trips like that. Uh, having something on paper is really, really nice because it's different than seeing it on the web or online or something like that, especially because um, the way the world is kind of oriented with this whole online landscape and I don't have a problem with it so to speak but it's it's different you know what i mean because with instagram and youtube and stuff like that there's so many so many photos online that it's so easy to just scroll through every single one and then you'll you're going to pass by a lot of photos that are actually really really good but because of the way our brains are oriented we just scroll by and then we just you know like double tap and stuff like that and it doesn't really give you time to sit down and look at a photo and i think this is really crazy because whenever I've handed a photo to someone, they've looked at it, they've taken it in their hands and they've 
giving it a second glance, you know what I mean? Because now you have something physical to look at and it really changes your perspective on the photograph because now you're not only looking at the colors and stuff like that, you're also looking at the lighting, exposure, you're looking at the detail, you're looking at the kind of the grain on the picture and you're looking at how the picture kind of relates to the paper it's printed on. And I think that's completely, completely changes the experience of looking at a photo and for the better that is and these make for incredible gifts because people like to hang pictures if you give them something physical they're not just going to toss it away or throw it away or anything like that uh, they might frame it they might put it up on a wall and then so much more people get to see it whenever they go inside the house and things like that and it just adds for more of a decorative piece and the really important part of that in my opinion is that you start to view your art as something different Instead of thinking about your art and something that mindlessly gets onto the web and mindlessly gets scrolled through and mindlessly becomes an kind of an ir irrelevant piece in the whole vast world of online space, it actually starts to become a physical thing that belongs in someone's house. And I think that is so much more valuable because then you start to think about art and photography as being important and what you're doing is actually matters and, and the things you're thinking about when you're taking photos actually matters and that's extremely important especially in the view of a photographer because if you think your work doesn't matter then you're not going to be compelled to do it you're not going to want to do it you're not going to do anything with it so if you print your photos you give them to someone as a gift they appreciate it they hang it up on the wall they frame it whatever it makes you start to appreciate your own art more and that is so 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 important Kind of the last reason, and obviously there's a myriad of reasons I can go on forever as to why you should print your photos, but we're going to kind of cut it off here. The last one is going to be the cliche, it's fun, it's rewarding. I think it's extremely important if you're printing your photos for yourself uh, to see your own work on paper because then you get to design and you get to think about the process more. You get to consider what kind of paper you want and how it fits with the certain composition you picked out and chose. I think this is extremely important because I've never really seen a photographer get a print, look at their own print, and just be utterly disgusted with it. You know what I mean? Obviously you can like nitpick a little bit. You'll be like, oh, I did this part of prong. I didn't edit this right. The colors don't look right. Things like that. Yes, I understand. But I feel like every photographer is happy to see their photo on paper. And I could be wrong. Who knows? Maybe there's a photographer out there who's extremely disgusted seeing their own pictures and stuff like that on paper instead of being online or whatnot. But for the most part, I think most people are happy when they see their own work on paper. I think it's really cool. You're just like, oh yeah. It makes you look at it through a different lens, if that makes sense. And I think it's extremely, extremely rewarding. So if you need that little extra dopamine boost for the day, just go out and print some papers because that's what it will give you, you know? Another philosophy I feel like you guys have probably heard a lot online is that a picture isn't really done until it's on paper. The job isn't finished until it's on paper, so to speak. And I think this idea is true because it's something that's passed around a lot, at least a lot on online photography. And it kind of makes sense, right? It's like, sure, we finished the editing process. Sure, we've uh, gone through all the colors, looked at all the aspects and stuff like that to really dive into the picture. But if it's not in a physical form, then is the picture really done? It's hard to say, but I personally think this kind of idiom or whatever is true because a picture really isn't done until it's printed. Because the idea about photography is that we're capturing something in three dimensional, right? And then we're converting it into two dimensional. And then if it just hangs in the two dimensional space, I feel like it doesn't really do the photo justice. Once we fully bring that back into a three dimensional space and print it, that's when we truly understand what we're trying to capture. Does that make sense? Because when in reality, what we're doing is we're trying to capture a 3D object or a 3D scene or a landscape or a portrait. If we leave it as something that is two dimensional in the two dimensional space, it's never really done because then it's never truly what we wanted to capture. We never really captured anything. Does that make sense? Kind of a roundabout way of explaining it, but that's just my philosophy and how I think about it. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably thinking about it way too deeply, but you guys get what I mean. So anyways, those are my thoughts on photo printing, why I think everyone should print their photos regardless of if they're a professional or an amateur or anything like that, and why you especially should print your photos if you are not yet. 
Um, if you guys have any ideas or thoughts on the topic, please share them down below what you think about the whole photography printing process and whether you're going to go out and print your own photos or not. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead and like the video down below. Subscribe to this channel for more and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.